Hello, hello, hello again. So, I believe I'm going to be naming this video uh, my 2018 purchases. So these are the items, and this is bags and small leather goods, SLGs, that I obtained in 2018. So, that's a quick panorama of my items. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, review, do a quick review of each. Alrighty, so I'm going to try to do this um, by brand. So my first group is Longchamp, and these are the two pieces I obtained. And these are actually pretty recent purchases. So I purchased the Longchamp Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle uh, Canvas Color Block Bag. Both of these bags happen to be from Nordstrom Rack. I'm do a quick look see inside. And, oops, so you guys can take a look at that. I don't know if that's going to clear up. Yeah. A little grainy. Sorry about that. But there's two pockets in the front, zip pocket in the back. And it is quite roomy. I have a couple pictures on my Instagram account, just fun lux. You can take a look at it here. Snap closure, I love it. Short shoulder bag. And I will say this actually comes with a longer strap, a longer strap so you can wear it. Um, so it's not just up under the crook of your arm. You can actually wear it so it's lower by your hip. But it was at Nordstrom Rack and it was on clearance and the, the shoulder strap was no longer with it. So that's probably one of the reasons why it was on clearance. So I got this item. So this is going to snap back up for me with one hand. There we go. <laughs> so yes, I really like this bad boy. And then I received, I purchased this, uh, Le P oh my goodness, I swear to goodness, it's the end of the weekend and my mind, I don't know. <laughs> so this La Pilliage, uh Longchamp bag, small. And I love this color. It's like a peachy blush color. I love it. So you know. So those are my two Longchamp pieces. So I will then move on to, let's see here. Let's see what should be next. I think next will be, oh, my two Burberry pieces. So uh, this is my Burberry Let's see, is this Burberry uh, Baynard tote? It's all leather bag, rolled. And this is also a shoulder bag too. The normal, not the normal, the, the famous, you know, um, Burberry check on the inside. It's a couple of pockets, zipper pocket, uh, cell phone pocket, the old school cell phones. Uh, I believe this particular bag came out in about 2012, 2012, 2011, something like that. So that's when this bag originally came out, but I purchased this bad boy from Fashion File and I love her. This was one of my Christmas items. Um, this one was a gift from me to me. And this was one of my birthday presents from last year. I used the birthday money I received and purchased this one. And this is my other, I have three Burberry bags. Um, so this is two of the three that I own, and I don't know the official name of this, but I just call this my Burberry Quilted uh, Bridal Shoulder Bag. Isn't she beautiful? So I got this one February of 2018, and then the interior on her, it's all black, so it doesn't have the check, but you know, it's the uh, Burberry insignia there, and... You know, always with the cell phone pockets. So this is another beauty. I will say that um, if I have to choose, I like my all leather Burberry bags much better. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the check or of the quilting. I don't know. But this is an all leather. And then I have a black all leather Burberry bag that I love. But, um, oops, sorry about that. That should be in the laundry room. <laughs> 
So those are my two Burberry pieces. And let's see here. Put that back on. The, and I think what we'll do next is um, I got a couple of a few different wallets. And oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be doing it by brand, huh? <laughs> Forgot that fast. So I got a great deal on this uh, Louis Vuitton. This is like a, a, a Sarah wallet, but it's an older version. So it just has the two credit card slots here. And then it's just open on the interior here. There's no credit card slots. And here. So if you see that. So I'm sorry if the lighting's just not agreeing with me today. But um, this is definitely a vintage piece. This is from, I believe, the 90s. And um, I was at a consignment shop for 99 bucks. So to me, this is in really good condition for a 20-some-year-old bag. Sorry, 20-some-year-old uh, sm small other good. You know? I like it. What's that? Oh, no, that's just a little bit of... I mean, there is wear. Do you see that there? But I mean, there's no cracking on the actual uh, canvas or anything like that. Just some wear like that. So that looks like the um, the glazing's off. But I love this. Yay. And then, since I just brought it out, <laughs> I'll show you the two Gucci pieces I got. So this is the Gucci Corner Zip Wallet. And I got that one uh, from a consignment store as well. And so... Uh, you can see there's some discoloration here. So uh, I'm gonna do some leather conditioning on it. This is a, a newer acquisition. I got this one uh, towards the end of December. But yes, all leather wallet and it's just, you know, corner zip wallet. So let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. And lots of room here. What's this like? One, two, three, four, five, six. So eight credit card slots and then two big slots here. Zipper in the middle. Fabulous. And uh, the reason why I got this one was to go with this. Uh, let me see if I can do this with one hand. No, I'm not going to even try it. Let me go ahead and pause this bad boy. <laughs> All right, so I got my Gucci wallet after I got my first and likely only Gucci bag. So I like this, I really like this leather woven shoulder strap. And this one, as you saw, I got from Fashion File and it is a vintage piece. Vintage meaning I'm assuming this is, um, Oh, no, actually, I found a YouTube video and the person it was from 2010. So I, this is like 2010, 2011, because I saw this bag uh, in a Gucci boutique in this person's YouTube video. And it was around, I believe it was uploaded in 2010. So I'm assuming 2010 or sometime during that year they videotaped it. So this is my Gucci bag and it's more to go along with, you know, the trend of having signature bags, uh, logo bags, I should say. And I do love this. I like this similar to my Burberry bridal. I like this hardware on bags, but um, I'm not a super, super big Gucci fan. So this satisfies me. I like this. I think it goes together lovely. So that's another thing from 2018, y'all. Yeah. Doing much better 2016, thank goodness. Alrighty, another thing that I obtained uh, in 2018 was this Fendi bag. And I got this, I believe, in March, March of 2018. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this beauty a lot. There you go. So this is a Fendi, I believe it's called a chef bag. So it has the Fendi Zuka print, which is this FF print. And it's an all leather bag. And here's a quick interior shot. You can see it's all leather here. Let's see here. Can I get a good interior shot? There we go. 
Eh, that's the Fendi uh, lining. See that? Is that going to clear up? There we go. Fendi there. And Fendi hardware, which that actually should be hanging out the side. <laughs> and yeah, this is another like short shoulder strap bag. Short um, uh, shoulder bag that I love. You can fit so much in this. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, it is one of my favorite bags. I'm doing, um, for the month of February, I'm my Instagram account, I'm showing my uh, month of favorite bags and SLGs. And this one will definitely show her face. <laughs> All right, so this is my um, two Fendi bags, two of these chef bags. I think they're called Borsa, B-O-R-S-A, uh, chef, C-H-E-F bags. But I could be wrong about that. But I have two. This one is the one. It's all leather with the Zuka print. Then I have another one that is suede and the, in a color block pattern. And uh, yeah, I love it. Oh, no. no. Is it suede? Yeah, I think it's suede. Okie dokie. So that was it for Fendi. Love, love, love that bag. Okay, then. So let's see who's next. I think I just only have two brands left. And you know what they're going to be. So the one I have four pieces from would be, yes, indeedy, one of my favorite brands, Brahmin, Brahmin, Brahmin. I love them all. Oh, a couple things that are really special about these bags is that two of them were gifts. Uh, I was with my firm. I am an auditor and I worked for a particular private firm for about 10 years and I decided to try something new with my career and so I left that firm in August of 2018 and I received two bags, one from a coworker of mine that she just gave directly to me and then one as a group gift from my office. So generous. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, take these beauties out of their dust bags. All right, so... I will start off with this first one. And this is the bag that I bought for myself. I got it at a uh, sale at Macy's. And this is my Brahmin, um, uh, I believe it's called the Elsa? No, the Elisa bag, Elisa, uh, E-L-I-S-A. <laughs> and I've been eyeballing this silhouette for a good year before I purchased it. Ooh, there's still stuff in there. <laughs> I'm usually good about cleaning out my bags and stuffing them before putting them away, but that was not the case here, so let me go ahead and keep that shut. But you can see there's two pockets, uh, and then uh, one zip pocket that separates them. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. I love it. This I ha already had for a couple of years, and I keep changing it. But, oh, it's a gorgeous bag. And you can wear it in the crook of your arm. Uh, the handle drop is a little too small for me to wear on my shoulder but it comes with a nice big oops shoulder strap so I can wear it on my shoulder this way by using this but do you see it has a little iridescent to it and with the lighter color I pretty much just wear this in the summertime and I love it oh my goodness I just love this bag I really do I love the shape I love everything about it oh it holds so much that's the one thing I guess I should say I have a tendency to just stuff everything in my bag, and this can hold a lot, so it can get heavy. But of course, you know, you can control that. But I just love everything about this bag. Ooh, I'm noticing a couple different items that didn't make it into the laundry room. Well, <laughs> oh, so this is my Brahmin beauty. And let me put this away. These are the two items that I received as gifts. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? these two beauties here. So this is one I received directly from one of my co-workers. She is beautiful. She's such a wonderful person. She was a mentor. She's been a mentor to me. Um, she's just wonderful. So here this goes. Alrighty. So this is a Brahmin, a large Duxbury satchel. And of course, my beauty here, this is the Mariana, uh, Mariana Kingfisher Riviera bag. I believe that's the name of it. Here it is. And then, so this is the bag that my office gave to me. 
and as a matching and a matching wallet. Can you believe that? It's wonderful. I absolutely love it. Okie dokie. So those are my two Brahmin pieces. And you know what I'm going to bring up next. You know my, oh, that's my garbage can. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> my beloved Coach 1941. Well, Coach period, but mainly 1941 pieces. So just a moment, I'll bring those out. All right, y'all. So I received, purchased, uh, well, some gifts, some purchase. One, two, three, four pieces from the coach 1940 i'm sorry one two three four pieces from the coach 1941 collection and then two pieces pieces this one and this from from the uh traditional coach classic coach is what i like to call it collection so i'm gonna go ahead and uh take these beauties out of their dust bags and out of the box because yeah i'm running out of time y'all <laughs> hold on just a second all right, so this is the last of my 2018 purchases. And um, I didn't realize I didn't have much memory on my uh, phone. <laughs> Otherwise, I go into more in detail, each in more detail like I did the other bags. But one nice thing, I believe I have various videos on each one of these bad boys or they're in the video and I discuss it a bit. So you can look at my other videos to find out. Like I've done a comparison between these two bags. Um, when I bought this one, I think I did a comparison with those two. So anyways, there's stuff out there. But this is my Coach Rogue 25 in Dusty Rose quilted, quilted Coach Rogue 25 with rivets and the color is Dusty Rose. Absolutely love it. And I got this at the Coach semi-annual sale, or the summer sale, I think is what we call it now. And along with that, I got this Coach Clutch. So Coach 1941 Clutch. And these are pretty typical now. Everyone knows what these look like. Uh, this I got from Nordstrom Rack. This is a Coach, regular size Coach Rogue in the color Melon. I wish this color would come up better. Oh, it is a stunning color. Absolutely love it. And then for Christmas, I got this, and this is a Coach uh, Quilted uh, Art Deco Quilted Card Holder. This is another Coach uh, bag. This is a Coach Palter <laughs> Parker uh, with quilting and rivets. Absolutely gorgeous. Got this one from Nordstrom Rack as well. Still new, I know. I'm waiting for Easter, y'all. Mm -mm. And then my last piece is this one which I received from a um, consignment store. And this is a Coach uh, Satchel. So, Coach Rogue Satchel. So that's it. Those are the, that's the end of it. Got a lot of stuff in 2018. I'm gonna try to bring it down in 2019. All right, y'all, if you want any specific videos on any of the bags, these ones or the other ones I showed, just let me know. All right, everyone have a great weekend.